Hello and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Thursday for another one of our masterclasses. It is Thursday, Johnny. Yeah, unbelievably, the week is flying by. Uh, and these masterclasses are all about helping you to get the very best out of your crafty goodies. And we tend to kind of feature on one element of a particular craft, as it were, in these masterclasses. And today, it is all about flower forming. Um, it's something which I know loads of you already do. Loads of you are looking for new ideas, new ways to get the best out of your kit. Uh, but I know a lot of new viewers watching all the time. And this honestly is one of the most uh, fun crafts you can do. And actually, as you'll see over the course of this show, not just for your carb making, uh, but for loads of other things as well. The great news is on this show is if you are already flower forming, we have got loads of ways for you to be able to stock up on all of the accessories and goodies that you need but if you're brand new to it we have got some deals for you as well to get you started on your flower firming firming flower firming <laughs> hey, what's wrong with me flower firming uh, journey it's not easy to say you try saying that flower forming foam flower f all right debbie <laughs> Uh, and listen, I am not here on my own to give you all the inspiration and take you through this masterclass. A lady who has no problem saying flower firming foam. <laughs> it's flower, a lovely flower forming foam. <laughs> Thank you. It is. Shh. It is the lovely Debbie Frusher. <laughs> You're right, Debbie. Uh, it's going to be one of them days today. Isn't it? I can absolutely feel it in my bones. Yes, flower forming foam. Flower forming foam, Ben. <laughs> uh, it's going to be amazing. I mean, you can see some of the samples that we've got here. Our Craig set this out this morning. Uh, we just have the most beautiful makes, uh, and we're going to be showing you exactly how to do them throughout the show. So we're going to be doing a little bit of sort of everyday pretty, and we're also going to be doing Christmas as as well it is going to be fun and as always you can get in touch and let us know if there's anything you want to see if you've got any questions <laughs> you want to throw our way it's... you're right well you're going into um what's his name norman wisdom mode you sound like norman wisdom this morning do i yeah <laughs> Norman like Wisdom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say who's Norman Wisdom. Yeah. It's Norman Wisdom. He's that, he's that English comedian, isn't he? Mr. Grimshaw! Mr. Grimshaw! He used to do that, didn't he? Yeah. That's, so what, that's why I've been talking like if I was doing Norman Wisdom. Well, that sounds like what you were saying. Sounds like you. Let us know. Let us know. That was my professional opening Normal up wisdom. start of the show. <laughs> presentary, telling how people can get in touch and all that kind of... That was my presentary... That wasn't me mucking about. That was my serious... At the start. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I can remember what I was saying, Johnny, because I'm a professional. Uh, let me do it more seriously then. If there's anything you want to know over the course of the show, then feel free to get in touch with us by uh, commenting on Facebook and on YouTube. And of course, throughout the show, if you would like to show us any of your projects that you've made or with your flowers, then you can get in touch with us at Studio Crafters Companion to go to the UK. That was Bruce Forsyth, who I love. Um, so, you started this, not me. Uh, let's get cracking and show you what we've got coming up. Now, um, we have got a starter kit for you. As I said, something for everybody, whether you are someone who's just getting started or you are further down your flower forming journey, there is something for you on this show. This collection is brilliant because it just brings you a little bit of everything that you need. Uh, so details coming up on your screen here is the flower forming foam collection. 10 elements, 14 sheets of foam and 400 stamens included in here as well. Um, so as you can see, Plenty of foam to get you going here, which is brilliant. Um, you're going to get actually within this collection uh, 21 sheets. Oh no, sorry, 14 sheets of foam. Yep. Uh, so you're going to get your floral bouquet. You're going to get your foliage greens included as well. You're also going to get uh, your uh, peony dies in there too. Again, allowing you to make these flowers so so simply. You've got your tools of the trade included as well. So your ball tools, double ended, six different size balls, and then you've. Then you've also got your, you've got your finger toboggan as well, as I like to call it, your distress tool with a little board there as well. You'll see how all of these work through the show. And we're also, as you can see there, uh, gonna throw in 400 stamens. And not just that, but hiding, 
behind, you've got your glue gel included as well. That is a brilliant kit to get you started. Literally everything that you need right there uh, to get going with your flower foaming. Uh, normally 56.93 or 83.35, it's 35 pounds or $45, but if you're platinum, look at that price, 28 pounds or $36, and you will not believe how simple it is uh, to start creating some gorgeous, gorgeous um, projects. Now, also on the show, uh, we have got your spring flower forming foam collection. Why am I struggling to say that today? I've said that so many times that today I'm really having to think. Uh, again, this collection, normally $52.93 or uh, uh, $66.65, 37 pounds today or 46 dollars uh, however platinum members 29 pounds 60 or 36 dollars each i'll go through the boards with you uh, in just a little while but what i will tell you is you're going to get a whole collection of beautiful florals in here you're also going to get your florist's box as well in case you're wondering what that is there obviously a florist's box um, but the thing with this collection is, which I'll tell you straight from the top, is that 80% of the stock has already gone. All right. Uh, lots of you, uh, I know, have already jumped in and uh, bought this previously. A lot of you jumping in on wake up call as well. Only 20% of the stock remaining with this collection and you get some lovely flowers with it um, as well. I'll go through the boards in full uh, in just a little while, but shall we get over to the creative side of the uh, studio and see how easy it is uh, to get creating with your flower forming foam. Uh, Debbie, where do we get started with this? Well said, Ben. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm hoping we can find uh, our John because I need the flower box. I haven't got a box, um, but I'm sure he'll get me one as soon as uh, we find him. Uh, yeah, haven't got the temp plate oh. so uh, right, so what I'm going to do is I remember from the last flower forming foam we did, um, someone said to us uh, about uh, embossing these into your, um, into your foam. So what you get with this one, I'm using the peony and we're going to use the poppy as well. You're actually getting your set of dies and you're also getting your um, templates as well. So you're getting three templates. So I'm going to pop these onto my flower form. Now what I've done is I've just, I've just folded it into four. So we've got four pieces. Uh, and then what I've done is put my rubber mat here. I'm using my Gemini MIDI. I've put my rubber mat and I'm hoping it will work actually. And I'm going to put my two templates onto there and send it through. So let's just bring this in. Now what I'm wanting to do is get the impression of the actual templates into the foam. And by using my rubber mat from my Gemini Junior, I'm hoping that will work. Okay. So, and then that way it was because you can cut round them, you can draw around them and cut them out. Uh, but I figured if we could do that, or oh, it might have stretched. Oh, so it didn't work because it stretched it a bit too uh, much. Okay. But do you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about it. What I am going to do is just separate my foam so it's not too much together. Perhaps if I didn't put it in with my rubber shim, it might have been better. But we're going to just cut these out. So bring in my scissors. And I'm just going to sort of, it gives me a rough um, uh, piece to cut round. Now, the reason you don't have to worry too much is because we're going to be manipulating them with heat. So it won't actually matter that they're not in the um, exact shape as you want them to be. I mean, as long as they're sort of roughly, you're going to get a really good flower. And just to say, you get a whole range of flowers, don't you? Peony, poppy, crocus, tulip, the one I can never say. One you can never say. The Ranunculus. Redun redun Redunculus. What's it called? Redunculus. 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 <laughs> not Redunculus. It's not Redun Redunculus. Redunculus. Hyde Ranger. Your, um, what else do you get in there? You've got your uh, florist box in there, of course, as well. Yes, included. Yeah, it's a really good set. If you were someone that hasn't got into your flower foaming yet, flower forming, not flower foaming, <laughs> um, you will, this set is just amazing. And as much as we laugh about the shape of the, um, the, lovely, the lovely box. I'm not it, laughing. It does, it does make what the you most, uh, the sh well, we always laugh. Don't try and make me out to be the only one that laughs about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but it makes the most amazing little forest, floristry box. Can't Absolutely. put my teeth in now this morning. I know it's cactus, I think, this, isn't it? 
But the, the whole point is, is you can create some amazing uh, flowers. And as much as we kind of um, label up all of the different flowers that you get within this set, you can create whatever flowers you want, really. And particularly good if you get some of the, uh, like the white flower forming foam as well, because then you can obviously ink up your own um, foam and create your own beautiful flowers. Yeah, um, and that's exactly brilliant. what I'm doing here, Ben. Mm. Uh, I'm just using our white. Uh, you do, do you get the foam with that or is the foam set? Oh, your so foam's in a, in a separate one. Yeah, foam's in the master cl yeah, masterclass collection. But it's, uh, yeah, so it's great to have all those colours, but actually, and do we do the white on its own? We are, we've got a bundle where you can get uh, 21 sheets, can't you? Uh, where you can get the, the foliage green, you can get the floral bouquet, and you can get the white as well. So seven sheets of each uh, you can get. There you go, bottom of the screen for you right there. £11.98, 19.90, and you buy two, you get one free. I said you buy two. You get one free. Absolutely you do. So there's lots of ways to be able to stock up. It's nice that we've got lots of foam back in stock as well, because we went through a phase of like all the foam had disappeared, but um, we've I got plenty available for you. I feel like you. I've lost two. Where did they what? go? I feel like I've lost two. I've only got two here. Let's I've got four together. of those ones and two there. Oh. No, they're not. Is it me or did they? Oh, they, they're down on the floor. You, lock, you dropped them. <laughs> Do you know when something really froze you? I'm sure I had four of those. All the time. Uh, right, so with flower forming foam, what you need to do is to use it on your iron. Uh, it, you can use your everyday iron, you can buy a craft iron, as long as you've got that heat. Uh, now you can use, I'm just going to place it on there and drop it off. Um, and oh, and I wanted to ink it first, so I'm just going to do this one, it doesn't matter, that'll be hidden. Uh, and then I'm going to use uh, the others, um, the ink on the others. But what you're going to do is fold all the petals together and then just twist it. Yeah. I'm then going to bring in the flower distresser. Uh -huh. This is ingenious. Whoever invented this, it's amazing because all you do, it holds it because it's got really tiny little lines. It's like a little gripper and you've got that on the same as the little finger toboggan and you're just going to roll it and that gives you that unique uh, petal distress look yeah. on the end which is just brilliant. You'll never roll one the same will you? No not at all and then you'll take your I like to use the biggest ball tool and we're going to just place our petals over the top and stretch them around the ball. Um, just a few quick hellos whilst we're uh, watching Debbie. Jean's in from Mississippi and Georgie and hello from Clearwater, hello. Florida. Diane's in from Pennsylvania. Good morning. Um, Wendy Skews is in from sunny Cornwall. I love Cornwall. Wendy, where are you in Cornwall? Let me know. Uh, Rebecca says, good morning, everyone. Katie on YouTube says, Ben, I love your boutonniere. Well, thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm, oh, oh, this, oh, this is um, something you are going to be seeing, I think, a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. Potentially. We, we are going to be making one. We? we well, you. yes, me. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, our Adam might be uh, having his eye on this as well. Uh, if you tell me he's, um, he's off to a wedding this weekend. Oh, yeah, we're making a card for his wedding this weekend. Oh, yeah, you could wear that, Adam. Do you want, do you want to borrow it, Adam? Ten pounds. <laughs> That's a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, hire, hire it out. You bring it back. <laughs> so we, we give, we're giving him a boutonniere and he's getting a card as well that looks lovely though i have to say it really it does really nice yeah oh we're going to get a close-up of it later on just to see whether he wants to borrow it or not <laughs> <laughs> see if, it, see if it were, it's worth the tenner and see if it goes with his suit he said <laughs> so all I'm doing is applying a little bit of ink into the centre. Now you can ink your whole flower if you want to, but I'm just doing it so we've got that touch of pink uh, just in the centre of our petals. So nice and easy. Your foam takes ink beautifully and yeah. it will take any of the inks, whether you've got pigment, your quick drying, your water reactive, uh, every single ink pad will be lovely. So I'm going to... What are you using there? This one I'm using is a pigment ink. Oh, okay. um, I would normally use a water reactive ink. Uh, I don't know why. It's just the one. Um, it's the one that dries quite quickly and uh, and mixes really well. Uh, but I didn't have the colour that I wanted, um, so I'm just using the pigment ink. Okay. It just means that the ink's a little bit wetter for uh, a bit longer, but it works just as well. So we're going to pick up these petals now and just start to um, make our petal shapes. And all I'm going to do again is bring in the petals and you put them one by one and then you'll have an odd one which you just tie in at the yeah. end. And then, 
And that depends on how many petals you have. Uh-huh. We are, by the way, over 80% of the stock has gone now. These are going. If you want to go for the spring collection, over 80% of the stock has gone. It's an absolute steal today. Um, you know, if you want to get started in making your beautiful uh, foam flowers, but over 80% of that stock has gone. Um, just whilst you're uh, making those flowers as well, I know we chatted about this earlier on, and we've, we've discussed this before, but for new viewers, obviously you're just using like a bog standard iron, aren't you? Yes. Absolutely. And is that is that the best thing to use? Um, it actually doesn't matter. So, no. do you, if you mean in terms of an iron, yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. I think an iron for me is the one that you get the quickest heat, um, and you um, it's it's sort of instant heat. Where you could use a heat tool, uh, that does work, but it just takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and also, it's with a, an iron, your whole petals are heating yeah. up at the same time. So yeah, and it doesn't harm your eyes. That's the thing. So there's no reason at all uh, that you wouldn't be able to use them. And it gives your iron some use as well, because if you're anything like me, my iron normally at home doesn't get used. You know, it just stays in the cupboard there and shake the creases out of clothes, you know, or wear a waistcoat. <laughs> yeah, cover them up. <laughs> cover them up. So we're just going to, let's do a couple. Get these done a little bit quicker and speed them up. But you can see how quickly they all come together. Yeah. It is just a case. If you love flower making, you will love the flower forming foam. Yeah. Because it's so quick, so easy. And it's actually just a nice thing to do. Oh, got that upside down. Let's turn them the other way. And depending on how you want to manipulate your petals, you can make your flowers look quite different. Yeah. So, you, you know, you might actually want to heat it a little bit longer and have it more scrunched up. Um, using all the different uh, petals to create make a really big difference. But you can see by me doing this, it doesn't matter that I had a bit of irregular shaped petals and didn't cut it probably particularly well because I was being quick. You're still going to get a beautiful flower and a realistic flower. That's what I love about flower forming foam. Everything is quite realistic. Yeah. And it's one of those things that Craig was talking about earlier on that you can do um, sort of at your own leisure. You know, you can just sit down, make a load of flowers, pop them away in a box for, for later on. You don't have to kind of like make there and then you can make a load up mm -hmm. stick them in a box and then you've got them there for all of those projects along the way loads of people just chatting um already using flower forming foam uh Lenny just saying i love it so satisfying to see it shape when it hits the iron um and uh deborah says love your outfit debbie as well matching up with what we're doing today isn't it you see oh yes thank you very much yeah. i mean i was in a blue mood this morning you know what? In a blue mood. Oh, blue mood. Blue I mood. thought you said you were in a balloon then. <laughs> balloon mood. Uh, I'm just looking for um, a pokey tool. There we um, go. We have got a deal of the show to bring to you as well. Um, if you are just after tools, then um, as I said, the great thing about this show is there is something for everybody, something for every pocket. Um, if you um, want to go for this collection, you buy the ball tools. Uh, and you get the distress tool, the finger toboggan, for free. Uh, it's £11.99 or $15.96 for our Platinum Club Inspire members. Uh, normally £22.99 or £32.99. It is our deal of the show. So definitely worth popping into your basket uh, if it is tools you're after. Uh, and as I said, we've got so much. Ch check the website and check the show page if you're not there already to see all of the other deals that we've got because we literally do have something for each and every bu uh, budget to get you started with your flower forming today right what are you doing over there let's you put them on your so tool. i'm literally using yet yeah, my pokey tool to apply the flowers on so we're just putting them all on uh, and you can fill that out you can do that however you want you can twist them around so by before you put your hot glue on you can make your flower look really beautiful so this is our first part you then can get some we got uh, stamens as well on the show so let me bring those ones in and then we're just going to pop those into place. So I'm just going to twist these at the bottom and then take off here. And that leaves us that hole, which you can then just pop down and bring in those stamens really? at the bottom. So you create that really pretty flower. Now, the one that I built up earlier, I did it slightly different. So if I bring this one in, uh, I use my darker ink. So this is the difference in the pinks with the, this one's more chalky. Uh, and then I use the smaller ones, so the ones cut from the die. So this one here, oh, just dropped a template, don't want to lose that. 
Um, so cut your smaller ones and then you can start bringing them in and really curling uh, your flowers in. So you can see you can get totally uh, different looks with your flower. So let's Fantastic. just bring both of those in. So that's the first part of our demo, but I don't know if we want to recap and then we're going to then go back to, um, to doing our poppy and the template. Do you know as well, like talking about weddings, obviously Adam's off to a wedding borrowing the uh, boutonniere here. Do you think about all the different things that normally at a wedding which require flowers, how many things you could create with your flower forming foam for you know, a wedding, we talk about you know the, the sets that we have allowing you to be able to make you know cards and wedding invites and things like that. But think about you know making uh, these for you know table settings, you know making the um, the little boutonnieres, making uh, you know uh, what are they called as well the little. Um, do I mean not? Do I mean corsage? I don't mean corsage, do I? Yes, corsage. Do I mean corsage? Yeah, yep. I do call mm -hmm. corsage. So many different things that you can do, uh, and of course, then you've got you've got these things to keep forever as well, which is the brilliant, brilliant thing. Hair bands, of course, as well. Yeah, why not for the um, for the bridesmaids? Literally, uh, this is amazing, isn't it? You know, making little posies for the um, the flower girl as well. I mean, literally everything that you would need if you wanted to, to, to do that um, for a wedding or a celebration. Um, we've got some questions coming in. This is what this masterclass is all about, by the way. If you've got any questions, fire them my way. I will fire them Debbie's way and we'll get those questions answered. I just want to recap on this um, spring flower forming foam collection though. 85% of the stock has gone. Um, literally, you need to be really, really quick on this. It's a super collection for the price of £29.60 or $36.80 for Platinum members. Um, it is stunning. Uh, I'll just quickly show you the uh, flowers that you're going to get. So with each of these, you get the template to allow you to create those bigger flowers. And then you've got the dies. And what I love about this as well, not only have you got the dies to be able to um, cut out the flowers, but then you've got the dies for the foliage as well. And as much as we obviously focus with these on your flower forming foam, you can of course use these you know, on your card and paper as well, should you wish. So that's your high Rager garden. You're then also going to get your delicate crocus and again you know you've got all of the different elements there to build up these flowers that look so realistic and the template included uh, for these to, to sort of supersize them if you like. You've got the poppy in there as well. Also included in this collection you have got your pretty peony. You're then going to get the elegant <laughs> ranunculus Ranunculus, you started me on that one now. That's definitely the elegant ranunculus. And then <laughs> you've got your tulip blues included as well. Don't forget with all of that, you will also get your floristry box included as well. So pretty much everything that you need there to get going. Just need to add a bit of um, foam into your basket as well. But what a great deal to get started um, on an amazing uh, journey. It really is. And just to quickly show you, you know, to, to create the most elegant of cards. I mean, seriously, and if you think, when would you not use a flower? You've got so something here for every occasion, for thank yous. I mean, look at that. Absolutely stunning again for things like your congratulations. But as we've already talked about also, you know, think about a wedding, for example, just making little uh, bouquets for you know the table why not um, also I'm not going to pop this on obviously but uh, you know making little headbands as well why not absolutely always put it on always put it on and you know what happened oh, and the great Is it are they legs what they look like stilettos <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like someone's dived into your head <laughs> Can't you see it? They're, They're like stilettos. It looks like the naughty witch, North, North witch of the West. <laughs> yep, so you can create a headband uh, with someone's legs sticking up when out you of your head. you see something, I mean, you can't the, unsee it. Gonna... That looks like a pair of legs with stilettos, like the foot and the heel. <laughs> It wasn't quite the look I was going for, Debbie. If I'm being honest with you, but um, you know, what, what, whatever, whatever you can, whatever you, uh, whatever you can, whatever it you want. It is. Wanna... Look, there's stilettos. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's dived in your head. <laughs> can you see it? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Now you've gone on about it. I would never have thought that initially, but yeah, now I can. I'm going to take that off now. Uh, so that's what you can do. That's what you've got the ability to do. But bear in mind, we are heading towards limited stock on this collection, so you need to act quickly <laughs> uh, and check out your baskets. 
£29.60 or $36.80 uh, is the deal if you're a platinum member. Are we going back over there? Really? <laughs> all right then. Did he? he must have been able to see that. Let me know if you see that, because that's, <laughs> that's all I could see. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what have you got there then? Uh, so we've got the template. Right. So we're going to try and get through this without laughing, which will probably be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, you know what, what you're going to do, what can you. I don't even think I want to know. No. <laughs> A rocket. A rocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish someone had made this template like this. Mm. It makes, honestly, it really does make the beauty. I can't do it. I actually can't because I'm going to end up just laughing and not getting through it. So I am just going to bring in my template. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, please buy this out today so we haven't got to do this again. <laughs> oh dear oh, me. Dear. <laughs> I mean, it's a very unfortunate looking <laughs> template, isn't it? <laughs> I'm seeing a rocket. I don't know what you're seeing. Tell what you. if we didn't turn it that way? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always me? Oh. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to score our lines in. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to try to ignore, ignore the, what it looks like. Oh dear, right. So where your lines are, I'm going to score down on that scoreboard. <laughs> <coughs> oh dearie me. Do you think they do it to me on purpose? I have no idea. Oh dear. It seems to be that you know, you get you get this collection quite a bit though, do you? I not? Do, you are yeah. your makeup over there. <laughs> it, it, I know, I think I'm going to have black eyes by the end of today. Um, <sighs> I... Um, uh, you know what it is? I absolutely, I do absolutely love flower forming. I love any flowers, in fact. I think flower collections are great. Um, it's just when they do these templates, which look um, <laughs> redunculous. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, um, I just ask you a couple of questions? Yes, whilst absolutely. Do that? Uh, Laura wants to know, Debbie, is it better to use the daubers and ink pads to apply colour to your foam or could you use the liquid ink pots and a paintbrush? Uh, oh yeah, you could do that. Mm. I think any way you like to apply your colour, yep. then uh, do it of your choice. <laughs> okay. um, because uh, whatever suits. Uh, the flower forming, you can uh, put lots of different colours on. You can even use your sparkle pens on them as well. Yeah. So yeah, I would uh, go for whatever, whatever suits you. Uh, what colour pink did you use on that previous demo, Bonnie? So I used the pink tulip, but it was the one in um, uh, the pigment ink pad, pigment. Uh, where the other one, this one, is the one in the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I just realised it isn't. This is the pigment ink pad, but it's the next one up. It's the fuchsia. Ah, okay. And it, that's why it's a chalkier one. Okay. Um, Khaki Blue says on YouTube, watch template would work for Hydrangea. Well, we've got the Hydrangea garden, haven't we? Mm-hmm is the one you would use for the Hydrangea. Uh, and Rosalind Russell on Facebook says, Ben, did Joe tell you to get Debbie giggling? No, uh, she, <laughs> I haven't done anything. She's always giggling. You do, I mean, you just, you just start the show and she's off. You don't have to do anything. She's just Miss, miss Giggles, isn't she, over there? I know, that is very Slightest true. Slightest thing, Oh, she's I didn't off. put the line in for that one. Look, and I totally um, scored that in the wrong place. That'll teach me not to put my score lines in. There we go. <coughs> Yeah, I am. In fact, um, Joe has now nicknamed me uh, Giggles Fish. Giggles Fish? Yeah, Giggle Fish. Giggle Fish. Is that an actual fish? Uh, I have no idea. Fish. I must have heard of that before. Giggle Fish. Mm. Johnny? It sounds like it should be real. It does, doesn't it? If not... I it hope it's be. a pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right, so anyway. we've done our... Um, our scoring, our cutting, our scoring, and now I'm just going to find some glue. We're going to use our glue pens. So just down those panels, we're going to put our tape pen. What card have you used? Is that just um, is that standard craft card? Standard craft card, yes. Yeah. I love using craft card. It's um, 
it makes everything look that little bit more rustic. Yeah. But it also goes really well with other things, like if you're using really bright pinks and bright uh -huh. blues, it just looks amazing. Well, this is this makes it look more realistic as well, I think. Yeah, really, absolutely. More, more true to form as far as the floristry box is concerned. Well, these are just like them, aren't mm. they? Just like those floristry boxes. Yeah. Oh, imagine the size of uh, a template for those ones. <laughs> 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 that would be big. <laughs> 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 oh dear me right uh, so pop that together Renee says you guys are cracking me up I love it you're making me feel better well you're welcome Renee <laughs> and Laura says my first thought when that florist box was shown online was an elephant yes it does That's look like an elephant yeah well. it does yeah. but it yep. makes a brilliant floristry box as well <laughs> 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 Stop it. Right, so I have got some packaging foam. Do you know you get that foam? It's not quite um, like the ones that, that come off, but it comes in lots of things. I had some of this in a box uh, at home. Yeah. Uh, and this is great to use inside because it actually, uh, you can, well, let me show you. So let me find the scissors. Uh, lost the scissors. There we go. So I'm just going to cut these down. So cut this bit off and pop that in there and then we're going to do the same with this piece oh, okay. and take that bit off and actually what it does it just gives you a little bit of structure in your box so we can pop that in and i'm just going to put a little bit on each side are you threading the stems into there then yes ah. well with glue as well yeah. but what it does it just holds everything securely so i'm going to do a little bit more padding out there we go and then what i've got here Oh, and it's gone out of my head what this is called. This is called something, and you can buy it online. It's really cheap. Someone will know out there what it's called. But if you pop this in as well... Is that, it, like, um, is that, like, is that, is that like a, like a bandage? No, it is. Well, like it is, but it's not called that yet. It's called something like... Um, a, it's something to do with the kitchen. It's like... Um, Sink. Kitchen sink. Yeah, it's something to do with the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, but not the kitchen sink. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So all I'm doing is poking it in between those pieces there and leaving this to come out. So it just gives you that bit of decoration and it will hold everything in. But what I am going to do is now I've done that, I'm just going to put some hot glue and I'm hoping my hot glue gun is going to work. Uh, we're just going to hold that down in there. So just bring in, I'm going to bring in my ball tool just to pop that in. And that just gives us our base then to put arrange our flowers in, which doesn't look like anything at the moment, but I'm going to bring some of the flowers in. And before I do, I want to show you these poppies. So I've cut some of the poppies out. These are gorgeous. And again, we're just going to pop them onto here. But this time, find my ball tool, I'm just going to turn them around and drop them off so they actually curl up themselves. Mm -hmm. So just doing that with these. So these are nice and quick but they make lovely little flowers and even if you didn't want them to look exactly like poppies they just give that gorgeous um, amount that you can a uh, gorgeous flower arrangement yeah. um pokey tool and there we go cheesecloth cheesecloth yeah cheesecloth that's it that's what dale says anyway yes, cheesecloth could think what it was cloth, called yeah. yeah so you cover your cheek it's for the kitchen isn't it you cover your foods and Stuff like that. That's what they have in the boxes of um, oh, I've put the smelly one. cheese, don't they? No, no cheese, Smelly Adam. cheese. It's the smelly cheese, normally like your camemberts and your... Um, what's the other one? Like the brie. Is it brie? Yeah, they have cheesecloth on that, don't they? And we, went to a, we went to a cheese place here in Durham. Well, not in Durham, it was just outside Durham. Oh, yeah, where, where did you go? Um, I don't know where it was. It was like a... It, I need to find where it is. Yeah, I say it and then I forget where they was are. Was that this weekend? Yes. Yeah, because we were both so, up here, uh, weren't we? We were, yes. Did you have, did you have a nice time in uh, Oh, I loved Durham? it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Had a beautiful time. Yeah. Just so nice to have some days off yes. in a place where you normally work. Yeah. Um, and for you, Ben, it must have been good because obviously... Exploring. The, ...everyone would have seen the house. And yeah, they did. Got yes. to show the kids uh, where they're going to be um, going to school. And yeah, just to go around Durham as well. What This first time I've ever been there. What a beautiful city oh, Durham is. Oh, absolutely. Unbelievable, because yeah. you've got the shops, yeah, you've got the kind so, of like historic so nice. area, haven't you, with the cathedral. And then you've got the river. Is it the, it's the weir, isn't it, that runs through? The weir. River weir, um, which was amazing. Yeah, we everything went, about it was lovely. We went rowing, uh, myself uh, and the family. 
oh, nearly ended cool. up getting divorced. Uh, oh, did for the you? First ten minutes. Oh dear. Yeah, because we, my, my wife and myself, had the oars, and we were trying to row. And it, where you hide the boats from, it's right in front of a pub. So obviously, you set off, and everybody's there having their drinks, realizing that you. I mean, we rowed into the bridge at one point, <laughs> and everybody there having their drinks in the sunshine, having a good old laugh. <laughs> whilst we were shouting at each other <laughs> it's the other way in a boat use this one to go that way and that one to go this way oh dear <laughs> so these leaves this one is for the poppy and this one it comes with your peony so i've used these to cut them out of this green now i've used card there are um foam that are green but i wanted a bit of rigidity in this yeah. so uh, i've just used these and i'm just gonna use my fingers just to give these a bit of shape could you, says Alicia, shape with paper? And how thick could the paper be to maintain the shape? Uh, yes, you could. You wouldn't get the same um, as you would a flower forming because mm. you wouldn't be able to manipulate your, your papers like that. Uh, but you could absolutely use papers and use any way. And in fact, uh, vellum are re vellums Ooh. are really good to make out of uh, these dyes. Yeah. So I'm just uh, doing these shapes. And then we're going to start constructing. So let's bring in my um, glue gun. And we're just going to start popping this into play. Could you, says Carolyn, I love all these questions, by the way. This is exactly what the masterclass is for, so keep them coming. Carolyn says, could you use a dry baby wipe instead of cheesecloth? I think you could. Yeah, absolutely. I can't see why not. Yeah, no reason why not. Yeah, no reason why not at all. Yeah. <laughs> More hygienic, says Adam. Well, yeah, I suppose you're using like actual cheesecloth that was wrapped around cheese. Probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you well, go. you could if you were doing a little cheese um, hamper. A what? <laughs> well, not a little, not as little as this. No. <laughs> Put a baby bell in there. That'd be it, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of those little finger cheeses you can, you can get. <laughs> 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 they still do like the cheese pick and mixes in the supermarket. Don't they used to do those? Uh, only at Christmas. Isn't oh, is it, it only Christmas time? I only ever see them at Christmas. When yeah. you, you get the ones like the smoked cheeses and the little like the little sausage shaped smoked cheeses. I used to love those sausage shape. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, I had to think like then. Yeah. Yeah, little yeah, mini cheese sausage. Very tasty. Very. Tasty, tasty. Very, very, very tasty. They're very, very tasty. tasty. <laughs> we do come out with the most random things, don't we? <laughs> what was that from? Um, tasty, tasty, an advert very, of something. Very uh, very, it was a cereal advert, I think. Anyway. <laughs> what do you like? What was it, Johnny? Was Kellogg's it Bran Flakes. Flakes. Wow. They <laughs> are not tasty. That's the thing, isn't it? Bran Flakes Well, actually, are. some people might uh, find they're tasty. Mm. Right, we are getting there. I've got a bow to put on. God, it's a long time ago and we remembered that. <laughs> what year was it? 1982. Wow, 82. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Adam and Johnny weren't even born in 1982. Yeah. So there you go. Showed our age there, Debbie. There we go. We eventually finished. So, but look at that. I mean, how absolutely beautiful does that look? Uh, so you've got your gorgeous box and you can see it turns out to be a beautiful box. Uh, and then you've got your gorgeous flowers inside. <laughs> Magnificent, this is absolutely brilliant. Um, if you want to be able to uh, recreate that demo, if you want to be able to get the full collection, the spring collection with that template, we are almost at limited stock on that bundle now. It's an absolute steal today. So many of you commenting earlier on as to uh, you couldn't believe how great this deal is 52 pounds or 66 dollars normally platinum you're paying only 29 pounds 60 or 36 dollars 80. one thing that you will need uh, extra of pop into your basket um, is more of the foam and this is brilliant because we've got the flower forming uh, foam collection 21 sheets in total here and you're going to get seven of each so so handy to have your natural white so again you can use your inks to be able to color this up uh, to whatever flowers you want so again it's giving you full creativity seven sheets there you're also then uh, then going to get seven sheets of your floral bouquet as well so some really really beautiful spring summertime colors included in that and um, all down the side for you there and then for your foliage seven sheets of your uh, foliage as well so you've got your greens you've got your whites and you've got those beautiful uh, springtime colors as well nine pounds 58 or 15 dollars 92 definitely worth stocking up on um, if you're already flower 
transforming uh, if you are buying any of the bundles today as well definitely add this in because you will be surprised once you started doing this you won't stop and uh, before you know it, you'll be like oh, i wish i bought some more foam get it today uh, whilst you can at that great price right if you have got stuff in your baskets right now let's give you some time to check out any more questions that you think of in the meantime you can get those in uh, and also again don't forget to send in pictures if you've already been making some beautiful projects we'll have a look at those in just a little bit but right now get those baskets checked out and we will be back in two We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Yep. Glad that uh, so many of you got your baskets checked out and particularly if you're going for the spring collection as well because that is approaching limited stock. Just want to mention that we have got other um, elements available for you as well on the show. Uh, and this next one is the um, flower foam um, elements die collection. 16 elements in total uh, within this collection. So within it, you are going to receive um, your lily. And again, the thing to say with all of these, to stress with these, is that you can create with these what whatever flowers you want but um, obviously if you want to be able to create real true to life lilies um, you've got the ability to be able to do that so there is your gorgeous uh, lily then on top of that you're then also going to get your uh, your clover again you've got um, three dies in there uh, the different sizes for you to be able to collect those clovers but then again if you have a look on the back there uh, nothing clover like about those at all really are they uh, but it just shows you the kind of thing that you can create then on top of that you're also going to get your um, your peony that's included in this collection again uh, three dies there also uh, you're going to get the uh, gorgeous traditional um, doily and border and then on top of that, how beautiful to add some butterflies into your collection as well. Three of those gorgeous butterfly dies. So uh, it's a wonderful collection in total. You're going to get uh, 16 elements for £32 or $44.80. Everyone's saving almost £19 or uh, almost $25, but then another 20% off uh, if you want to add those in. The other thing to mention as well, uh, you will need a good die cutting machine, of course, if you're going to take advantage of these deals. We've got the Gemini uh, Mini for you. In fact, here it is. Um, this is such a brilliant uh, little machine, as you all know. Uh, it's mini but mighty, and the great thing is you will find that your flower forming dies um, will go through. 
Um, so you don't have to spend a huge amount of money if you, you know, if you're starting from scratch and you think, oh, I need a die cutting machine. You can pick up the mini for twenty-three ninety-nine or thirty-five dollars ninety-six. It's a brilliant deal. And look again, it's all about the simplicity of use because you've got your little uh, folder there for your die cutting, and then you've got your shim for your two uh, D embossing folders. Three D embossing folders will go straight through for you. Super portable, super sturdy, and you still get the pressure and precision that you would expect um, from your electronic machines. This deal also comes with the free storage bag. That's included for free. So if you want to grab this today, £23.99 or $35.96, a brilliant day to jump in and grab this. Uh, if you want something slightly bigger, of course, the MIDI is available as our Get It Got It good deal. So um, two of our most popular machines on fantastic deals this week. Um, I can see more questions coming in, but let's get started with the next demo and then we'll get the questions to Debbie uh, as we head through. So Debbie, what are we going to be looking at next? So we're going to uh, do use that set, which has got the clover in it. And I I love this die because even though it is a shape of a clover which is great for putting on any of your projects it does make a really beautiful flower as well so we're going to cut these out of again I'm just using our white um, foam and I'm going to cut the two colors and then we're going to cut some out of the green as well so just popping these onto here and running them through so, so I'm bringing in the midi the midi you will find will I reckon take around about 90 to 95% of our dies. Uh, so a great little machine to have and a really good one if you're using the flowers because it's really quick. Um, so I'm going to take these ones out uh, and then I'm going to bring in the uh, green. So I'm going to put some green in here and just cut some extra ones out. Because don't think just because you, uh, we normally think of green as the uh, just the uh, foliage, but actually it's great for your flowers flowers as well yeah. uh, it makes quite stunning flowers so but also there's nothing to say that you have to use the green with those dyes is it because you could make those into mm. a different style of flower if you want oh to. absolutely yeah absolutely so let's pop those out to the side pop those flowers out now you can cut up to six layers at a time I'm just doing four uh, you'll find if you cut sort of six to eight they really squash together um, so I would just say that four is a good amount which uh, and you can part them quite easily yeah. so just taking those four out and um, just whilst you're doing that as well a question which always crops up but it's, it's good to you know keep going over these things because um new viewers all the time just when we're talking about shaping the uh, the foam debbie mm -hmm. instead of an iron says alison could you use a heat gun yeah absolutely in fact shall we do that on some of these Ooh, and then you right. can see so i just need to uh, plug it in uh, and then we can show it so it's always good to show all the different ways because you might uh, have an heat, heat gun um, and not maybe an iron to hand or it for safety you might you might have young children about so you don't want to leave your iron on on the side so just going to plug this one in there we go and we're ready to go so all I'm going to do with this one though is I'm going to bring in my pen so I've got my um, I've got my illustrator pens because they've got that gorgeous brush nib and all I'm going to do is do sort of flicks into the center of these okay so nice and sort of easy so just doing those ones and they go on lovely so it doesn't take no time at all so we'll just do those little flicks and then I'm going to bring in a darker one so I'm using the BP ones and um, I'm using the BP one and the BP five so just put in some darker ones in there Bonnie just saying I went to university in Durham it's a lovely city it really is lovely. Uh, and Khaki Blue says, it's always fascinating to hear you guys mention locations in the UK and parts of Europe and realise we have name corresponding places in the US. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, you'll have to fill us in on some. Um, up, yeah. We've got a Washington up here, haven't we? This mm -hmm. neck of the woods, which corresponds. Uh, I'm sure I saw on the map up here as well. Johnny, you probably, is there a New York around here or did I dream that? There is a New York. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. A New York. Oh, there's a Boston as well, isn't there? Up this way, Lincolnshire. Boston, Lincolnshire. Mm. Right, I'm going to move these over. Yep, we can still get that in, only because I'll blow away all the others. Yeah. Yes, if you use your heat tool, you can see straight away, you are getting that curl. That's just a few. Oh, 
I would say though, right, most uh, the, the majority of households, I would say, probably has an iron. So uh, this is only my personal thing. I would say if you if you have an iron, the iron looks that looks a bit faffy with a heat gun, potentially. Uh, yes, it can be. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So if you've got an Where iron, it's very quick, um, right, okay. but it still heats it up enough. You can see. Yeah. As I can manipulate these, so it definitely works, and actually creates a really really nice flower. Mm. And it is just a case of just doing the leaves. What this doesn't do, and the iron can do, it can actually make your edges feel a little bit um, sort of hard, um, where they get almost almost singed, but not singed, if that makes sense. It's because they've got such a high heat on the iron, um, they make it sometimes a little bit um, uh, crumpled on the edges. Right. So let's just go back to the iron now. So you can see that really heats it up. But if we do the same, I don't think it will... Um, just gonna, I think my iron can do with being a bit hotter, actually. So I'm going to turn it up. Yeah, it was right down low, because I didn't think it seemed... So they would heat up a little bit more. Well, he says, can you use a hairdryer? Um, the hairdryer doesn't have so much direct heat. Yeah. So, and it's not designed to be that hot. Um, because I certainly wouldn't, let's put it this way, I certainly wouldn't dry my hair with a hot heat tool because the heat in that would be burning hot. You, sorry, you wouldn't dry your hair I wouldn't with dry my tool. hair with the heat tool, yeah. If you dried your hair with that, you'd literally burn your head. Right. Yes. Okay. So good, Some think, good life lessons there for us as well. Well, what that means is that your hair dry wouldn't probably get hot enough. Right. All right. Good, good stuff. Good to know. Yeah. So just, I keep doing it upside down. Look. So number one really is the iron is the, probably the best way to go. Yep. If you don't have an iron, then obviously you've got the option of a heat tool. Yep. And also you can obviously, not, not as well, but you can manipulate the foam with your fingers too, can't you? Just with the heat off your fingers. Uh, you can, yes. I mean, you can do that. Um, what you'll find is a lot of the time your um, your phone might split a bit more. Okay. It's like, do you ever see it? Sometimes, in fact, it's happened in the last demo where you um, you pull it and it's, it breaks the foam. Um, and that is because uh, it's cooled down quite oh, quickly. Okay. Yeah, so your fingers don't heat it as well as what they should do. You wouldn't be able to manipulate them as well. Now you can see what I'm not doing this time. I'm not using my um, uh, my uh, distress tool uh, because I don't really want distressed edges on these ones. I just want my leaves to look like those big sort of curled curled petals. So just holding those in. Oh, and I've just done that. So that one was cooling down. So that's just given me a hole. But actually, I'm not worried about that uh, because flowers and petals get holes in them. Looks like they? a little caterpillar has had a little nibble. <laughs> it does look like that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to then get my poker tool. We're going to start with these smaller ones. Okay. And we're going to just pop those into place. Interesting chat on the place names coming in. Renee says, we have a Suffolk, Norfolk and Portsmouth just near uh, VA Beach. Where's that? VA Beach. VA. Where is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Sharon says, I live in Winchester, VA. VA is Virginia, isn't it? Winchester, VA. And I believe you have a Winchester as well. We do have a Winchester. Yes, Winchester. I used to live at Winchester Way. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. What, in Winchester? No. Oh. <laughs> what county is Winchester? Winchester's in... Winchester. Where Winchester. is Winchester here? Is that in Hampshire? It's that way, isn't it? I think it is. Uh, Hartford CT, says Rebecca. You have a Hartford in the UK, right? Yep. Hartford? Hartford. Yeah, Hertfordshire. Oh, well, this is Hartford, H-A-R-T. Hartford. There must oh. be a Hartford. I don't think it's like a... We have Hertfordshire, but it's spelled with an E. H-E-R-T-F-O-R-D. -E -E Hertfordshire is like a county. I don't know if it's a Hartford. Oh, Hartford in Cheshire. There you go, apparently. Mm. Um, I'll keep these coming in. Very interesting. And look, Laurie just saying, I'm so enamoured with learning more about the foam flowers. I really like your instruction, Debbie, so thank you so much. Oh, that's good to know. They're always good to recap on, aren't they? I mean, we've yeah. had our... Um, my glue gun just doesn't seem to want to play ball with me today. We, do you want me to go and grab John? Yes, if he could get me another one. I think it keeps Get you another John or another glue gun? Blocked at the end. 
There we go. So that's our first one. And then we're going to do this one. So let's do this one because that's our biggest one that we've got on the bottom. Oh, sorry, want that on the bottom, don't I? So let's I'll pop these on. Has he left me? Has he left me? <laughs> So we're just threading our petals through and these green ones make a really nice flower. So find the hole I had on that one and then our next one. And then we're just going to thread. So before I do, I'm just going to take some of our stamens. Um, you can use wire, so florist wire. Jewellery wire is a little bit too sort of stiff to twist at the end. Uh, but if you've got it to hand, then you can absolutely use them. I think I maybe have used too many stamens to go through. I've got another one, so we will plug that in when it goes over to you, Ben. Hey, I was going to say, I will plug it in when it goes over to you. Oh, uh, yes. So the more you heat these and the more that they create these beautiful flowers, so you can see they look amazing. If you build them up with the smaller centers, you can see, and just using your bud ones as smaller ones, we get these really pretty flowers. So we're going to pop these onto a card. So I'm going to bring this in. But what I am going to do is use that doily. So that doily die that's in there is so pretty. This is going to go in lots of your other collections. So like Sarah's tea party oh, will yeah. look lovely in. Uh, it just cuts beautifully. So we're just going to run this one through. So pop that into my folder and bring in my Gemini Midi. There we go. So just running that in and I'm going to run that back again. So that's quite an intricate die. It's got lots of detail in that one. That's the good thing with a MIDI. I can go forwards and backwards in no time whatsoever. Fab. And then that will give me that beautiful design. Oop, like that. There we go. I mean, look at that. How pretty That's is that die? It? It's such a lovely die. Yeah. yeah, you definitely want to get your hands on that one if you haven't. And then I've also cut it out in white as well. So we're going to pop it put our card together. I've just got a little card here, which we're going to put, I've gutted this middle center out. Um, and I did use a different, I didn't have this die at home. So I used a different die, but um, I've lost my tape pen now. Uh, but I wanted to use the uh, one that we've got on the show because it is such a lovely die. Lots of ideas for you here, as I say, loads of different collections for you on the show as well. Definitely stock up on that foam, which we've got back in stock, and we've got the stamens available for you as well. And as I said, whether you're going for a starter collection, we've got that, uh, and of course, lots of uh, other collections for you too. You can find them all on our website, and of course, we'll recap on everything as we head through the show. Um, lots of chat still coming in. What's this, Ben? You're calling dogs again with your whistling. Have I been whistling? Have I? Did you? I didn't notice that. Oh, did I, when, I, when I brought the heat gun in? Sorry about I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Apologies. I was whistling this morning as well. It's a whistly kind of day today, but I do forget that a lot of you have your, uh, your pets there as well. So uh, apologies if I've uh, I'm not whistled. very good at whistling. What? Because I can't, I can't whistle outwards. What do you mean you can't whistle outwards? Like, when you, like blowing, like... Whoosh, whoosh, but I can whistle. I can whistle inwards. Can you? <whistles> That's so. St so you can like suck in, whistle, but I can't whistle outwards. <whistles> yeah, I can do it both ways. So you can. You can't blow blow out and whistle. <whistles> no. That's really weird. <whistles> but you can suck in and whistle. <whistles> oh. Yeah, the dogs are going for <laughs> yeah, so, Sorry, sorry about to that. all our dog, dog owners yes, out there. <laughs> Have you ever, can you do that I always think that's through, really weird. Your teeth as well. Mm. No, I can't do it with my fingers either. No, I can't. I always wanted to do that. Always yeah, to I do can that. whistle inwards, but it takes your breath away because obviously you can't breathe properly then. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I've always been able to whistle inwards, which is very strange, but That's I can't so whistle out. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, my son can now whistle. My daughter, who's just turned 10, still can't whistle. And have you ever tried to teach somebody how to whistle and realise how hard it is? It is really yeah. hard, and all, yeah. All she will do, the amazing thing every time is she goes, 
Ooh. <laughs> uh, no, you don't make you don't make the noise you make it you have to blow out. Ooh. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Right, so I'm just mm. putting them one on top of each other. <laughs> mm. That sounds like a like a foghorn on a ship. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <woo -hoo. laughs> right, and let's stick our flowers into place. So I'm going to pop this one onto here. Still got this same one, so I'm hoping it will be okay. Lena, just to answer your question as well, the doily is called your traditional doily and border, because right, you've been looking for it. It is included in the bundle on your screen now, all right? So if you want to go for it within the bundle, that's the one you need to go for. Uh, you see the item number just there. Uh, but it's the flower foam element die collection, and the die itself is called the traditional doily and border, uh, if you want to look for that individually. Um, Barbara says we've now caught her kitten's attention as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love kittens. <laughs> You'll get your cats. Oh, I've dropped a big bit of glue on there. I'm annoyed about that. I let it dry and it will pull off. Oh, and I've done it upside down. It's a good job it didn't really matter, isn't it? But I've done, I've done it upside down. Have you? How annoying is that? <laughs> Never mind. Not, not to worry. Not so I'm going to bring world. in my original. I do have a bow. So actually, I'm going to put the bow where I was going to put it, and I'm going to just take the top off and turn the whole card around. So let's pop that underneath there. Let's take that glue, pop that into place. There we go. That's better. We got there. It's a little bit on the ski whiff, but we did get there. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? And then if I just bring in our finished one there yeah. that I use with my different doily, there we go. Just brilliant. Mm -hmm. So super cute. And as I said, a, a, a kind of a flower for every occasion. Um, and as we've seen, not just for your card projects, but for so much more as well, even uh, for things like this, like your boutonnieres. If you want to go for this collection, don't forget, um, it does include that uh, doily border uh, and die. You're going to get your butterflies included in there as well. There's three of those in this collection. And then a whole host of different flowers as well. So you've got your three clover dies included in the collection. You've also got the peony collection in there as well. There's three of those. That's the uh, the die that you were looking for, Lena. So that is your um, traditional doily and border. Uh, then you've also got in the collection your lily three, oh no, five in that collection actually. There's five dies there. And then we're back to those butterflies. It's a bundle worth normally $58.95 or $80.75, £32 or $44.80 today if you are a platinum member. Right. Lots of other goodies um, in the show today. And this, again, is another great collection for you. If you are just wanting to dip your toe in the water, you've only got a few quid or a few bucks to spend today. You're thinking, right, I want to give it a go. What's the best bundle to go for for me? Probably this one. It's the Sarah Signature Rose Garden Flower Forming Foam Collection. And what you get with this is a little bit of everything, right, to get you started. Because you're going to get this die set, which is the um, traditional rose set. So again. You've got uh, your three dies to be able to create uh, your, uh, your rose, your flower. Um, what's that one? That, that's got a special name, the thing, the little leaf that goes underneath the bottom of the flower. And I was trying to think of it earlier on when Craig was, um, was, when Craig was doing it. But anyway, uh, you get four dies in the collection to be able to create your flower. On top of that, we're also going to give you your stamens as well. So you've got 400 of your flower stamens included and on top of that, um, you are going to get um, your sheets of flower forming foam as well. Again, uh, you've got the three different colours, so the colours for your flowers, and then you've got the colours for your foliage included in there um, as well. Johnny, just check how many sheets we get there of the foam. Seven ninety nine. It is a brat. Yes, Johnny. That's that is the word I was looking for. Uh, Seven ninety nine or eleven dollars nineteen. Uh, normally twenty three ninety seven or thirty two uh, ninety nine. Um, you make that huge saving today. So it's a great way to be able to jump in and, um, and get started without spending a huge amount of money. $7.99 or $11.19 for that collection with the rose dyes, with the stamens, uh, and with that flower forming foam included as well. And it is nine sheets you're going to get. So three sheets of the uh, three different colours. So that's a great way to get yourself started. Uh, we've also got... 
flowers for all seasons, which is brilliant. So uh, we brought you the spring collection. We've now also got for you uh, this gorgeous winter collection included as well. Um, and again, it's so great to have all of those different dice for all of those different occasions. Uh, you know, particularly now as we're thinking about Christmas time as well and Christmas makes this collection you might just want to go for. And I tell you what, uh, £20.77 for Platinum members or £25.86 makes this a really, really special deal once again as well. So with it being a winter foam flowers collection, you'd expect to have your poinsettias in there, which you do. Um, on top of that, uh, you've also got your holly. Uh, there's uh, six dies included in there. You've got your um, autumn leaves. So again, great for creating foliage, great for those maybe uh, harvest festivals and fall cards as well. That's included. You've then got in there your, um, your Christmas rose, which is absolutely stunning. And then uh, last but by no means least, one of my absolute faves um, is you get the pine cone in there as well. So not only can you create all these gorgeous flowers, you can even create uh, pine cones as well. There's your, uh, your foliage as well. There's your holly and there's your poinsettia. That's a great deal, 25 96 everyone's saving 13 99 or 17 uh, But platinum members, you can come down another 20% off that price, 20 77 or $25.86 is the deal on that one. Uh, if you have just joined us, welcome. It is our masterclass. We're looking at all things flower forming today. Um, so again, if you've got any questions, get those in. We've had a lovely um, Q&A session with uh, Debbie as we've gone through the show. Uh, and also don't forget, if you have already been doing this for a while, share your thoughts with everybody else on the comments and actually uh, share your pictures with us as well. We'd love to see what you've been up to. But if you are looking for a great collection, again, to get you started, this is brilliant. Uh, because again, you've got a little bit more in there than the um, Rose Garden collection. Uh, but again, you're not breaking the bank with this. Uh, it is... Uh Six. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I do apologise. I thought my mic had gone. Mine's gone! <laughs> Ben's has gone, so I'm just going to talk. Uh, so I'm going to have a look to start with through uh, the Delicate Crocus. Uh, it's a great one, this one. It's got a really nice uh, big um, leaf on here. So got this one and we're going to cut some of those out. So first of all, I'm going to bring in, now this one I'm going to use Sarah's signature for, so I'm just going to bring in these, ro the, um, the rose garden, is it? Yes, the rose garden. Uh, and we're going to use these to cut out our, um, our panels. So I'm going to place this one onto here, uh, and just for speed, I'm going to cut round. So we're going to cut around these bits here and then we're just going to follow that round so holding on to your foam now you can um, you see earlier i embossed the detail into it you can also uh, just draw a line around it or you can just use the stencil itself just to cut around it's quite a um a good stencil in its thick so um, even if your scissors just catch it it's not going to cut through it you need to put a bit of extra pressure on there to uh, to get it through so just cut in around here and there we go. So I think we've got our lovely Ben back on. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello. <laughs> uh, well, it's not too bad. We don't have many um, uh, un things that don't function, do we? So um <laughs> Technical things. <laughs> not technical yeah, things. Yeah, there's people that don't function correctly <laughs> in this process, isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. You did a great job stepping in there. I was only just going to tell everybody about the um, the collection over here, but we'll do that. Well, in a I bit. was actually we'll prepping, now. so when they said, "Oh, Mike's gone," I thought they meant my mic, so ah, I was actually checking my mic, and yes. I don't even know why I thought that because I wasn't even speaking. No. <laughs> And then I realised that I was on camera and uh, had to step in there. It was all me. It was it all was me. It was all Ben. Yes. Probably because I've been talking too much. I've worn my microphone out. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gods were looking down on you, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Let's shut that man up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so what are you doing? Sorry, I've been faffing around trying to fix my mic. So all I'm doing is I'm cutting around these stencils and we are using um, the gorgeous crocus. 
Okay. What I do love about these is if you uh, don't really know your flowers or you want to make a different type of flower to so the flower it is, it's really possible to do that. But if you also want to stick to the exact flower that what it is, you can do that as well. I love that you have that option with your flower, um, with your flowers. Um, also, and uh, you can see, I've not been very careful with using my foam. No. So there's lots of extra bits. I would cut them out uh, into squares of the size of your flowers so you use less of them because obviously then I'm not using items like this but just for quick demo reasons um, I just use them uh, like that so you're getting your dyes as well in here so you're getting these gorgeous green ones so I think we will cut out some of those uh, I don't need them I just want you to well actually yes I do I want a different one is that the one we'll use that one and cut that one out so let's bring in the midi and actually, I think I'm going to cut that in half because I think I could possibly um, cut two at the same time. So just trimming these pieces. So I'd love to know who, um, who has got the flower forming foam. Uh, and also, if you have any pictures with whatever you've created. I know um, Sarah's done a masterclass before with the, um, the teacup and saucer. Oh, do you know what? I have still yet to find out how you do that and that oh you still I've never, don't know I, I keep seeing uh, people having done the teacup uh and i think it was with you last time and i was trying to ask mm -hmm. how it's done and you just said it's done by magic yeah it's done by magic do you know they do cakes like that as well now what with, with the teacup thing? Not with the, well, the same sort of system. Right. Um, where you have the, you have your cake and then it's covered in, let's just say something like minstrels or Maltesers and it's got the bag on the, on the top. So it looks like it's pouring onto the cake or the sweets. Oh, I love it's that. Very, it's very cool. Yeah. yeah. very cool. Well, if you've made either or, um, a teacup or a cake in that regard, do send in your pictures. Studio mm, at .co uk. So we did it. We did a masterclass with the teacup back along, did we? Yes. Oh, I, I think Sarah's done a masterclass and a craft along. A, a, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I think people have been able to craft along as well at the same time. Pictures, please. <laughs> uh, so I meant to do these ones smaller. That's uh, that's annoying, isn't it? What's that? I meant to cut these ones smaller. Oh, so I'm going to um, I'm going to actually just take this one that I've got here and cut some more out. Well, do you want some time? I can do that. I can I can show everybody the collection we've got over here. Oh yeah, want. absolutely. I'm just going to cut some more smaller ones out to put on the inside. All right. Um, Renee just saying uh, when I first got my uh, set, it was, I was a bit intimidated, but after I started making them, I found out how easy they mm -hmm. are, uh, which is absolutely right. Uh, and as we said, if you are um, looking for a set to get you started. This is a collection to go for to my right hand side um, because you've got pretty much all of the tools there. You've got some dies in there as well um, and you've got the foam and stamens included in there too. It's a brilliant, brilliant collection. You're going to get your, uh, your lily dies in there. So you've got some dies to be able to start creating your flowers with. Brilliant. You've then got your foam included in there as well. So we're going to give you that in the foliage greens and the floral bouquet. Amazing. 14 sheets of foam. You've got uh, 400 stamens to be playing with as well. Brilliant. And then you've got the tools to be able to, um, to, to kind of give your flowers that finishing effect. You've got your tools in there, your ball tools uh, with your little foam mat. Six of, uh, well, three of those, six different size balls. And then you've got your finger toboggan as well, your um, distress tool with that distress mat included. And not only that, you also get uh, your 3D chunky glue as well. That is a great collection to get you going with. £28 or $36 for our Platinum members. Um, if you want to add that into your basket today, definitely a place to start. The Spring collection is also proving very, very popular. In fact, that is now limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... It soon won't be seen. There you go, there it is. Uh, so you've got to be quick if you want to grab it. Uh, less than 10% of the stock remaining now on this collection. Um, do you want to have a quick look at the boards? Uh, that I can show you everything that you're going to get in the collection so you can make a whole host of different flowers. You get the floristry um, bouquet template in there so you've got somewhere to pop in your flowers and then with all of these you get dyes and your template as well to make the bigger petals for the flowers. Um, loads of dyes for your foliage as well which is just brilliant. So there's your Hyde Ranger garden. Also included your delicate crocus 
You're going to be able to make uh, some beautiful poppies with this as well. On top of that, you've got your pretty peonies in there. Remember all of these dies and those templates as well, the elegant redonculus and your tulip blooms in there too. All of that and of course you've got your, um, uh, your floristry box template included as well. A fantastic collection for £29.60 or $36.80 but it is now limited so if you want to grab it quick as you can because uh, it could potentially go before the end of the show. 45 minutes left, it's absolutely flown by. Uh, any more questions as well, get those in and we will um, throw them Debbie's way just a few moments time. Uh, Crafty Angie just saying, I have all the flower foaming supplies, but I have only cut the flowers. I've not made them into anything yet. Uh, and Phyllis says, I have the foam and I have yet to give it a go. I find that so surprising. Yeah, you've got to, because honestly, mm. you will love doing it. It's one of those things. Uh, what I would do is, uh, is have an afternoon or a morning where you can just do that in itself and yeah. nothing else, because you will absolutely love it. There's something really therapeutic about making these flowers because you get such good results when you're using them. Yeah. So whether you're using the iron, the hot, the hot um, heat tool, you are going to get really, really great results. Uh, and it doesn't matter how they come out That's at the end the of the thing, day. Yes, it? because flowers are all different shapes and sizes, and 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 they're meant to sort of look uh, uneven and scrunched up. And so yeah, they just really do create the most perfect flowers. What I think that Flower Foreman has done is made flower art very easy. Yes. So it's uh, yeah, and it just. It's not even hard work. Do you know sometimes where you get something, and I can't even think of when, but when you think, oh, it's a bit of a faff and you can't mm. be bothered. And, um, and actually, I'll tell you something very honestly. When I first got the foil press, I used to think that about that. Really? Yeah. I used to think, oh, it's a bit of a faff to just get out and foil things. And But once I did it, I was like, why am I not getting this machine out all the time? Yeah. Because it's so easy to use. You get great results every single time. Um, yeah, and absolutely loved it. And uh, and if you think that about the flower form, and honestly, you'll have so much fun yeah. in using the um, all the tools. If you've got the tools, and that's the thing, have the right tools, treat yourself to that petal distressor, treat yourself to the ball tools, because all the these things will make it so easy for you to create just amazing flowers. And I think that's the thing to have in mind, isn't it? Because I think with a lot of craft, it is a lot about measurements and it's a lot about making sure you know, that things marry up. And so you might get a little bit stressed about that. And I, I can understand maybe a little bit if you've got to worry about being precise with things, you mm -hmm. might go, ooh, well, I'm not quite sure about that. But this is literally one of those things where you don't have to worry a jot about being precise. Because like Debbie said, it's all about like nothing is the same in nature, is it? And no. you know, the petals, you can uh, choose to make them exactly how you want to make them. You can choose to distress them should you want to do that. You can choose the colours that you want to use. You know, you can choose the colours of foam you want to use. It is literally down to you. I would say there is no like, wrong or right way of doing this. And I think the more you do, the more creative you'll get with them as well. And like Debbie said, loads of you were saying earlier on as well about how um, therapeutic it is. And I think that's a word that you've used, just mm. sitting down of an evening, you know, making a few flowers and you don't have to there and then actually pop them onto a project. It may well be that you want to shape up a load of flowers, you know, for some cards or sort of for some home decor projects. Maybe you are planning a wedding and you decide to yourself, right, I'm going to use these to be able to create some nice place settings. You can sit down of an evening and just do exactly as Debbie's doing now. Um, and like, as I say, I think the more you do, the more confident you get and the more you yeah. enjoy it. It's a really, really um, wonderful craft to do. Um, a few more questions coming in. Uh, Karen is saying, does the doily really come with this flower collection? The doily comes with the other collection that we were showing you a few moments ago, the other uh, flower collection. Maybe we'll pop up the details at the bottom of the screen for you there. Um, and then Cindy just asking, uh, the details by the way, sorry, uh, yeah, Karen will come up for you. There you go, bottom of the screen if you want the doily. Uh, and Cindy's saying, could you do a batch of the petals on the iron and then form them later, or do they still need to be warm from the iron and formed immediately? That's what Cindy wants to know. Yeah, good question. And uh, yes, they do need to be formed immediately. It's the heat that allows you to manipulate them while they're still warm. Um, so I would absolutely, you can make your petals, but not your flower. So do your petals, distress them, stretch them, um, and then you can 
put them all into a box. Uh, what I would suggest is maybe even putting them, if not a box, into like a cello bag, blow a little air into it so it makes it sort of a pad, like a, almost a pillow, and then mm -hmm. do the like the zippy seal bags. And that way it will keep a bit of air in them and stop them from going flat as well or, or getting squashed. And, and the other question as well, which I know people have asked in the past, so once you've like heated them and formed them, yep. do then over a period of time the flowers lose shape? No. So once you so form them, I can that's leave it. all these. Yes, I yep. can leave them all, and they will stay just like that. Fab. Yeah, absolutely. So that's why I say you don't have to make your petals, but I, uh, you don't have to make your flowers, but make your petals. Right. And then that way you can just put them together. This is something I love doing. I love just making all the petals and not even thinking about the flowers that I, I use. Yeah. Because what you can then actually do is mix and match all the different petals, so you can put them into a completely different flower, but it will still look beautiful. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each petal as we go along so just to keep that into place and then we're just going to start to build up our flower so just building them up in between and I'm only putting a tiny little bit um, which actually is not a bad thing that my glue gun is only uh, giving me a tiny bit at a time because that's exactly what we want it to do and then we're just gonna, and all you will do is keep building these petals up and you'll get a really good flower. Uh, and you can also go in and then sort of use the, um, the edges to sort of crimp them a little bit more. But I'm just gonna keep building this up building inside because I'm actually you don't need to always put your stamens in or you could just glue them in you don't have to put them through yeah. but actually your um, your glue if anyone has got one of the hot glue guns your stamens will go through that as well so just pulling that in and just to say for those of you um, who've messaged today and gone oh I've got the stuff I haven't given it a go make today the day yes make absolutely. today the day you give it a go of course you can watch this show back on YouTube um, you can bookmark us. If you subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, you can bookmark this show, uh, watch it back at your leisure and give it a go. Um, I'm, I honestly think that once you've tried it, once you've got the foam out of the packet, once you've got the dies out, give it a go, you'll think to yourself, why did I not try that earlier? It's so simple. And, and the results mm -hmm. that you can create, you know, when you think you can create beautiful, beautiful uh, flowers like this, I just think you'll be going um, foam crazy. <laughs> getting, caught up in my, getting caught up in my glue strings here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my little glue strings there. And now we're going to pop our little ones in on that inside. So it's just a case of building this flower up. So just do a couple more. And you can go as big as you want. Someone asked earlier on, like, how, how do you create, who was it you asked? I can't remember, it was right at the end of the show, like, how do you create more depth with your flowers? I suppose it's just all about adding more and more adding layers, Adding more isn't and it? more, yeah, That's absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the world's your oyster, you don't need to, um, you know, be governed by two, three, four flowers. No. If you want to uh, add in there, you know, 20 flowers, then, you know, you, you've got the ability to make those 20 flowers. So we're going to pop that like that. I'm going to bring in my sponge and just pop that onto there because now what I want to do, my glue will still sort of be setting. I'm going to go in with my little ball tool and go down. And then that's going to form a really pretty flower there. Now, what you want to do is to let that dry off a bit uh, and then you can start adding more in to the bottom or where you need them. But I'm just going to bring in this one here, which I've done slightly differently. Uh, and this is the one that uh, Ben has on. So I've used my smaller ones on the inside and done the lighter ones on the outside like this one. Oh, yeah. So building up those different ones. But it just shows you by leaving those leaves bigger, you're getting a totally different look. Uh, once you've built them up, put your stamens in between. I've just put a little blob of glue to hold the stamens in underneath. And then what I'm going to do is I've got one of my, I've got a little leaf here, or I cut different ones out there, um, and then we're going to attach this to the back. So first of all, we're going to um, attach the pin. So all I've done, uh, you can buy these. I just had the pin here. What have I done? There it is, hiding. Uh, you can buy these online. They're just little brooch pins. Yeah. Um, so uh, and they're really cheap as well, which is good. 
I'm going to uh, pop this in the center and then I am going to use my glue gun just to put along here. It's a good thing to hold this with. And then I don't want to make it too runny before I then stick the piece of card in the middle. So if you stick that in, it just allows you then to have that little bit more hold on your pin. And yeah. then I'm just going to go underneath just to hold that down. So that's on that side and then on the opposite side as well. Bonnie's just asking as well, do we need a glue gun or can we use tacky glue? You can use tacky glue. Um, the glue gun just seems to work better because it dries a bit quicker than tacky glue. So if I was to push down like I did into this one with tacky glue, the tacky glue would actually spread further and it would just it would just hold, it will almost have an impact on all yeah. those layers and hold them down together. So what I would suggest if, if you're using tacky glue is to uh, just use a tiny little bit so then when you push it down to in the center it doesn't spread throughout uh, and cause any more disruption so once you've got your flower set and that's how you want it tacky glue uh, sorry um 3d glue gel is absolutely fine yes so there we go just pop in that down making sure that that's all secure and then we've got our pin and then we can stick that to the back so i'm just going to pop a nice big blob and just around there and make sure that goes right to the center and then that creates our beautiful badge um or brooch should i say not badge, badge. and um yeah. Boutonier, apparently. so uh, there we go so i have one now and so does Yay. ben he has his one over there <laughs> how amazing is that and actually lovely to hear crafty angie's just said ben i will uh, and i want to make one just like the one that you're wearing uh, i will play back and work it yeah of course you can watch this show back a little bit later on uh, and you can craft along with um, with Debbie as well, which is just brilliant. Um, Lorraine just saying on Facebook, I have every flower leaf die I own cut uh, and in Ziploc bags, so they are ready to make when I need them. That is another great way of doing it, as we've said. You know, make up your own um, flowers, pop them into Ziploc bags, and then whenever you need a flower for a particular make, you've got them all done there and ready, raring to go. And Four Holidays Designs on YouTube just saying everyone should give these a go. Uh, yeah, Joe did his first one on air all by himself, and it was lovely. Yeah, again, it's one of those um, products, isn't it, that, you know, even us guys are happy to have a go with. And yes, Joe um, creating his own one on air so again goes to show that everybody can do this it's not just for seasoned crafters it is all about giving it a go um, and seeing what you can create it's no faff it's uh, no kind of like you know fuss with this and it's literally making flowers made easy um, this collection is it's gonna go if you want to grab it get in now you need to check out your baskets as well we're getting to the point now where we've got more people wanting this than we have available don't let it sit in your basket because you have that crazy thing here where if you let it sit in your basket and someone checks out before you uh, you can lose it uh, very very quickly did you want to just see the um the boards again we'll rattle through these so you're going to get the uh, hide ranger garden included in here remember you get the dies and the templates included with these as well so you can super size your flowers um, with these you're also going to get uh, your delicate crocus you've got the beautiful wild poppies absolutely stunning then on top of that you've got your pretty peony you've got the elegant ranunculus and you've got your tulip blooms and don't forget on top of all of that you will get your uh, floristry um, box template included as well 29 pounds 60 $36.80 represents amazing value for money, but that will go. You've got to be checking out your baskets as quick as you can. Uh, if you haven't got uh, added foam in there yet, get some of this in there too, because as I said, once you've started, if you're one of those people out there today going, oh, I haven't done this yet. Once you've given it a go, you will need more foam, guaranteed. So this is the way to do it. 21 sheets in total in this collection, uh, three different designs, seven of each. So you've got the greens for your, uh, for your foliage, seven sheets of that you've got seven sheets of your natural white as well so a great way for you to be able to create your own flowers and your own colors uh, they take all sorts of ink don't forget so um you know making them really really craftable and then on top of that you're going to get seven sheets of your floral bouquet as well uh, in all of those summery springtime colors so a lovely mix of colors for nine pounds 58 
or $15.92, everyone's saving over 30%, and then another 20% if you are a Platinum member. Uh, right, let's have a look at some of your pictures then. I think I spy here in Renee's picture, uh, this is some of the um, Sharon Callis um, sweet succulents in there, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Beautiful. Bit of a mixture. Yeah, absolutely. They look gorgeous and really lovely colours. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. And great again there. So from like a almost like a table setting, a plant pot if you like, uh, to using the uh, gorgeous flowers here on a um, celebratory card. Love the choice of colours there as well. Absolutely amazing. Uh, next up, is this one of our floristry boxes decorated? I think it is, isn't it? Oh yes, it is. Yeah, amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, beautiful uh, they are. Beth, fantastic. And then Wendy has uh, gone all out here and created three. Uh, beautiful uh, bouquets just for you with love uh, and another one there with just for you absolutely fantastic thank you so much uh, for sending in all of your pictures um, if you've got any more of those as well please, uh, please feel free to send them studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and particularly if you're one of those people who took part in the craft along and made one of those floral teacups I would love to see uh, what you did uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and we will get some more of those pictures uh, shown before the shown before the end of the show. We also, of course, have to uh, get you to vote for the demo of the show in the final half an hour. But before all that, more importantly than anything else, let's get those baskets checked out, particularly if you've got the spring collection in your basket. Remember, uh, that will go. Make sure it doesn't go uh, before you get it. Let's give you a chance to check out your baskets. Uh, here's a couple of minutes. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We are into the home straight, so now is a uh, good uh, time to get your questions in, get your pictures sent in, uh, and get those baskets checked out if you didn't in that last couple of minutes. Let's just show you some of the other goodies that we've got on the show as well, because what I love, something for every budget, something for kind of every level of uh, flower forming foamer, if you like. Uh, we've also got flowers for every occasion and every season as well. We've got the Winter Foam Flowers collection, 27 elements in total here. So again, this just expands your collection further. Already loads of you telling me that you've got all of these collections already, which is brilliant. But if you haven't, and if you're wanting to create cards uh, and flowers for every occasion, this is good to go for, particularly right now, because we're thinking about Christmas makes, aren't we? This is your winter collection. Um, you have got the poinsettia die collection. So you, know, you think Christmas time, the Christmas flower, the poinsettia, you've got the ability to 
to make that with this collection. We're also going to give you your, uh, your holly as well, perfect for all of those Christmas makes and projects. Then on top of that, you've got your, um, your leaves, your, um, your autumn leaves. Again, great for fall cards, great for Halloween makes maybe, Harvest Festival, that kind of thing. Um, it's a wonderful collection within that. Then you've got your gorgeous um, Christmas uh, rose included as well, five dies in that collection. And then finally, uh, the set which allows you to make your little pine cones as well, which is just brilliant. It's 27 elements in total, £20.77. So maybe you've already got the spring collection and you're looking to uh, branch out even further. This is a great way to be able to do it and perfect to get it now uh, whilst we're all thinking about uh, Christmas time and Christmas makes. £20.77 or $25.86 is the price. A uh, couple more questions coming in. Just um, before we go on to the next demo, uh, Crafty Angie says, what, what size were the brooch pins that you used? Oh, let me measure. I'm trying to think which ones I ordered. Uh, so over here, it's, I think they're only an inch. Yes, they're an inch. Fine. Uh, inch. And Jackie just saying, what did you put in the middle of the flower? It was just... Um, oh, so it was the stamens. The stamen. yeah, yeah, the stamens that you cut out. Yep, sorry, I didn't do the middle bit, did I? So the stamens that we cut out of the foam, they're like little green circles. Uh, and then the middle bit were the little pearl stamens that you can buy as well. Fine. Okay. Lovely stuff. Uh, right, we've got 25 minutes to go. So, can we squeeze in another little demo? Yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, do a bit of a Christmassy thing going oh, okay. on here. So I thought we'd do a nice Christmas card. Uh, I'm using one of Sharon Callis's dies. I adore this one. I think it's really pretty. Uh, this one is the Irish lace frame. So I've got my outside cutting frame and my inside. And then I'm going to mat and layer some smaller frames. So I'm going to use the inside just to cut some of these. Now, if you you wanted a good set of leaves for either your autumn cards or your Christmas cards these are amazing so you're getting five different leaf shapes uh, and they just cut out beautifully they give all your embossed detail in there so these are a really good set to have uh, and they're your autumn leaves so we're gonna run this through just tape those down using the gorgeous gold um, glitter card and let's bring in just mind that iron out the way, otherwise oh, yeah. I'm going to end Have up safety. burning myself. Yep, so push that in and then we're just going to pull that in. There we go. So running that through, I am going to run it back as well uh, and possibly even run it through again just because uh, we are going through uh, glitter cards. So it's quite a coated and it's a big die, but I'm going to look on the back. Uh, actually, it looks fine, but just that bit there, I'm just going to give it another little uh, go through. And there we go. Cutting those through. So that gives us that one. And then while I'm taking that piece out, we'll then put this one in as well. Lynn's just got an order. She says, I just opened my Mr. Yodel delivery. And inside has the pop-out scene craft kit, the Christmas centerpiece die collection, the Christmas tree damp stamp collection, and the Christmas 3D scene die collection. Lots of lovely goodies. You have been shopping, Lynn. Wow. Seriously, that is a shop and a half right there, isn't it? Oh, don't oh, you just blimey. love getting parcels like that yes. it's just the best honestly it's the best sort of post isn't it eh? it is the best post yes now you can track it now as well and you can well that and clothes that and clothes <laughs> that and what <laughs> that and clothes, oh, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a parcel delivered, not for clothes for myself, no. um, but I've just bought some um, some baby outfits because <laughs> there's been I know lots of new babies at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, we've got our Sam down at Creating Craft. They've just had a little girl, and uh, and Smith. also yeah. Oh, I didn't just know that. A little girl. Yeah. Oh, cute. Uh, and um, uh, uh, and. Um, Hannah and Simon. Oh, of course, yes. Yes, they've just had a little boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I can't wait to get home and open the little parcel because I'm oh. down there next week, so I can take it down. And, um, you know, there's been lots of babies, hasn't there? There's Born yeah, well, the it's a baby boom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, lockdown babies. Not much else to do in lockdown, really, is there? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that and crafting, of course, yeah. That you know. and crafting. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> right, let's just pop them to the side and bring in all my elements here. So what I've done is I've created those mats and layers, but I've also, that extra layer around the edge, so let me just bring that back in, I've cut out two of those to make a little bit of an unusual card, and then I've put a, a score line down this piece. So all I'm going to do is attach that strip to my card, and that will create just that little fold card. Oh, yes. Yeah. So doing that on there, and then we'll put this one, mats and do our mats and layers, and then we're going to create some of our Christmas roses and our poinsettias. So Beautiful. let me just get my uh, tape pen and just pop that on the side. My Laura's taken to throwing away the catalogues that come through the post now because she likes these. Um, I think she must shop at the same sort of places that you do because I, I think your style is very similar to my Laura's. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, she gets the catalogues through quite a lot, but we've obviously been trying to save money with yes, the house move. Absolutely. So she has a little look through the catalogues cries a little bit and then puts them, <laughs> puts them into the recycling bin. I'm very, I'm very good though because um, I order things and then I pay it off. Oh really? Yes. Best way to do it yeah, though, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have uh, anything on there. Yeah. yeah, best way to do it. But, um, there we go. So our, um, Adam's saying to use a certain uh, chain. Oh yeah. But but Adam, Adam is of a certain age, see. They, do you know that they only cater, their catering age is up to 30 years old. What, the app that he uses? Is are that you right? Over 30, are you, Adam? Yeah, that's, that's terrible. What, that's what the age it's aimed at, yeah. Right. Yeah. There's certain brands of craft, uh, craft. Clothes. Certain, uh, an art brand of craft is catering for every age. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. But certain brands of clothing departments and that, yeah, they, they only cater uh, for up to 30 years old. Well, that, that's me stuffed. Well, I think I dress more for a 30-year-old, so I think I'm all right. <laughs> Johnny's just gone, oh, yeah, you are 30, though, aren't you, Debbie? Oh, I wish. I so wish. My son's going to be 30 this year. I mean, how old does that make me feel? <laughs> I don't know. How old does it make you feel? <laughs> I'm probably my age. <laughs> I feel that old that my daughter's just turned 10, so yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Johnny's just got his, his daughter's 40 shattered. There you go. Yeah, so goodness knows once your kids reach the age of 30. I mean, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. My yeah. grandson's birthday today. Oh. Yeah, he's, t he's free. He's yeah, free I was going to say two then, he's, he's free. <laughs> oh, I think I uh, briefly saw your little Facebook pictures oh, before I came over there. I can't believe it. My little Mexican grandson. Oh. What's he called again? Charlie. Charlie. Let's see, My yeah. little Charlie Bear. Charlie Bear. You either grew up so quickly, didn't they? Oh, too quickly. Yeah, I think I said to you the other day, so the one good, well, there's many good things about uh, your social media, but Facebook particularly, I like it when it flashes up on, on this day. On the memories, yeah. And uh, it was my daughter's birthday on Tuesday, and it was so nice, because literally uh, on her birthday over the last 10 years, we've popped some pictures up, so we were able to look back at all of her birthdays from when she turned, well, when she was born, all the way up until uh, when she was nine. It was so cute. Um, to, yeah, to, it's to lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so nice. Right, so we've got our card base now done. So actually, that in itself looks a beautiful card. So you've got a really lovely... So if you want to make your Christmas cards and look so beautiful like this, uh, Sharon Callis's frame dies yeah. are great for that. So we've got our leaves, and now what we need is our dies for our flowers. Now, the Christmas rose, the biggest die is missing in this pack. Oh. So uh, it's probably been put into another pack. And yeah. we've also got our poinsettias. So I'm actually going to use, out of um, Sarah's Rose Garden, uh, this is the ideal colour. So the foam pack that's in there, if you want to make your Christmas roses um, or your poinsettias, this is going to be ideal for that. So we're going to pop some of these on to here and then we're going to do some white ones. Let's do that one instead. We're going to do some white ones as well to make our Christmas roses. Dana says, lovely inspiration, Debbie. I'll be pulling out all my goodies and having a play. Yes, absolutely do. Um, oh, and, and uh, talking about getting goodies, Aisha says, first there's the order, then there's the stalking for a ship confirmation, then the tracking <laughs> down of the truck that's due to deliver. We are true CC crafting junkies. <laughs> CC crafty junkies, I love that. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the thing is, you know you're addicted to it when you get to know your delivery guy by name as well. That's very true. <laughs> Uh, and Renee is saying on Facebook, at the end of the year, all three of my kids will be in their 40s. 
You I've don't look old enough, Renee. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. It's quite nice having older children, though. I quite like it. What benefits, I suppose, do they... I say you, you're not old enough for them to have to look after you yet, but... <laughs> yeah, the bank of mum and dad never stops, no matter what age. <laughs> oh, the bank of mum and dad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the bank of mum and dad, yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to when we move up here, like, uh, we've got a little uh, shop in the village, and uh, my 13-year-old now thinks he's at that age where he can, you know, pop to the shop and go and yeah. get bits and pieces for us, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It's such a grown-up thing to do. I remember doing that as well. Like, Mum, please let me go to the shop on my own. Please. I'll, I'll be really good. I'll only stick to the path. Yeah. Like, you can see me across the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I always remember being able to walk to school for the first time ever. What, on your oh, own? Yes. And it was a long way to my school. Oh, I loved it. I felt like the biggest grown-up ever. <laughs> yeah. Both of mine are going, uh, they, they want keys to the new house as well. Like, like the, the best thing. Oh, we're I gonna, remember that. Get our own the key. key to the house. Key yeah, the house, I remember yeah. that. Oh, you forget all those no. things, don't you, when you're growing up? Yeah. Oh, I so remember that. Oh, it was just the best thing, having a key to the house. <laughs> I remember once I didn't have a key to the house and I broke in through the back window. You broke into your own house? I broke into my own house, Brilliant. yeah. Um, I, my mum never let me live it down because I smashed her rainbow glass fish. So do you remember years ago, probably talking 70s, they used to do all the rainbow glass ornaments and my mum had a oh, big like fish. No, it wasn't, well, it was a glass. They were glass. Oh. They were glass ornaments and she had, a, we had a couple, we had a horse, I think, and, uh, and a massive fish. And as I put my foot through the window to climb in, I knocked it off and it smashed. <laughs> so I had to tell I'm her. I'm sure my mum had a hedgehog, one of those. Is it the ones that, as the sun comes in, and it, that one off. the sun comes in and it creates rainbows everywhere. Is that what you mean? No, it's actually it's actually got rainbows on it. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, it's like it's all different. Yeah, very retro. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's had. Well, obviously not you, Ben. But no, not me. <laughs> the ones my mum used to have. I'm sure. I'm sure it was crystal. And then when the, she used to have hang them in the windows, and then when the sun used to shine, it used to create like. No, you're effects. talking about the. Uh, there was a specific name for those, the crystal shop, and they used to do all those yeah. animals that were crystal. And the, yeah, they did that. No, these were proper big glass ornaments, ah. um, and it was like a big just ornament of a fish. So if you could think of like think of like Nemo. Yeah. It was like that, and it was just painted like yellow red blue oh, no didn't have that um, yeah I'm no. sure other people have had those I'm sure well, they yeah have. well let us know no we had we had the yeah. it well, was no more we didn't have it anymore It'd probably be worth a fortune now if I didn't smash it oh dear <laughs> <laughs> crystals and teaspoons it was in our house do you collect anything? So there's a nice question. Do you collect anything? Do you collect things? What do you collect? Yeah, yeah apart crafting from, goodies. Apart from um, crafters' com com companion products. <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be, sub boxes. Yeah. Sub boxes, Gemini dies, <laughs> Gemini embossing folders, Gemini machines. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think I'm a collector of crafters' companions. <laughs> you guys all are the <laughs> amount of stuff i hear you uh hear you guys ordering i don't really what do i collect mm. waistcoats waistcoats yeah i collect do you have an eye for like do you look out for waistcoats um, or is it just something that just you see them and just say oh i'll get a new waistcoat yeah I, I, I don't think i've got a huge one i find it difficult to kind of get like really kind of um brightly colored ones because all the ones i have are sort of blue or black or gray um i, I I collect Christmas jumpers more than more than uh, waistcoats. I told you about that. I think um, I might have done. We've been obviously packing to get ready for the house move and mm -hmm. uh, chucking stuff away. And my wife actually made me throw away uh, <gasps> a few of my Christmas jumpers. Oh no! How bad is that? Um, but Gilmore then suggested. They obviously were awful. Well, they're supposed to be awful. That's the point <laughs> of a Christmas jumper, isn't it? No, there's, there's classy Christmas jumpers and there's funny Christmas jumpers. There's no. there, and there's very tacky, nasty Christmas jumpers. No. All the point of having a Christmas jumper is the fact that it looks a bit tacky, isn't it? Isn't that the whole point? Um, but Gilmore came up with a good idea. She said, with the boxes that you were going to pack, Ben, what you need to do is wrap all of your stuff in the Christmas jumpers, so then that you've got you know all your stuff packed away, and your wife doesn't know that your jumpers are in the boxes. So that's what I've started to do to save the uh, the jumpers that I've got. Have you started packing yet? Oh yeah. Oh. My wife is cracking the whip. Oh. Let me just tell you. 
That's Seriously, good. yeah, she's, um, she's, she's, she's on it, and I, I'm quite a long way behind, so over the last couple of days at home, that's what I've been doing, um, packing stuff with her looking over my shoulder. You, get, you really want to keep that, do you? You really want to keep that? Um, so I've thrown away a lot of stuff that I did actually really want to keep. But there we go. We're downsizing in the new house, apparently. Is it smaller? It is a little bit smaller, but I think she just, like when you move house, you just want to get rid of stuff, don't you? Yeah, you want everything new. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good excuse just to get rid of stuff. Yeah. Um, it's good to have a clear out. Yeah. It's sad, sad to see stuff go, like r random stuff that you, uh, you keep, and then you have to chuck it away. Um, Phyllis is saying, I collect Santas. Oh, that's a nice one to collect. Uh, besides and the shame about that is they only come out once a year. Hey. Uh, Patty says... Besides craft stuff, I collect teapots and teacups. A friend brought me a beautiful tea set from England years ago. <laughs> Teaspoons was the big thing to collect as well. As I say, my mum used to collect those. Wherever we used to go, always used to buy a teaspoon. Our Fiona, she collects um, teapots. Yeah, just, just like Patty. Teapots. Ah, teapots. What? A little dinky Fiona. ones. Fiona. Uh, no, I think they're normal teapots, but they're they? quirky teapots. Ah, like the ones with the men's with the heads on. Yeah, probably. I haven't actually Toby seen Toby jugs. Them. No, they're, they're, they're jugs. They, they are Toby jugs. <laughs> <laughs> they're not teapots. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, hmm. George, um, George, sorry. <laughs> George? Uh -huh. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to call you George. Kimmy <laughs> <laughs> uh, says, I collect elephants. I have some made of wood, glass, metal. I love them. They are such gentle giants and they're good luck as well, aren't they, elephants, apparently? They are, yes. Mm. Right, let's get this put together. I think we're running out of time. We are. So I have got some ready, so we would just... Oh, now I've just done that. Let me put these together. Well, in fact, let's just quickly put little globules of, um, of glue and stick these together rather than put our... Um, um, can't think of the word, um, pokey tool for it. Michelle oh, says, terrible. sorry, uh, Debbie, we had one of those glass fish when I was young. Yeah. But my sister tripped over it at my birthday party and broke it with her head. Oh dear, that would have really hurt. I, I need was, to Google this thing now. I was so upset, so upset. I was just devastated for my mum because she loved it. What am I Googling? Glass fish. Glass fish. Ornaments. Or retro glass dish ornament. Oh, yeah. There you go. So I know what you mean now. So all I've done with these ones is I've put some little... Um, oh, and I turned them upside down, which is what I meant to do. If you turn it the other way, it then creates a, a sort of more of a shape of a poinsettia. Yeah. But actually, this one looks just as nice. Uh, and then you put your little stamens. I've put little gold stamens in that one. And then if I bring in my roses, if you do your Christmas roses, uh, just put a little bit of green on the stamens in there. Uh, and you can see they create really beautiful little flowers that look amazing. And then we're going to just pop them onto our card so let's move all my workings out the way bring in that gorgeous Christmas card and then we're actually going to put these right on the center so I'm just going to put some glue drops onto there and move these both in at the side let's just turn that round Shadai has just messaged and said demo of the show do not worry we have not forgotten. We've still got eight minutes left. We're going to time it perfectly, should I? Don't you worry. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get to include this demo as well, you see. That's why we're just hanging on a little bit longer. That's it's all it. under control. Yes. We are slowly getting there. That's why I just suddenly um, switched and did everything quite quickly um, to get this in. So I'm just going to pop them. Look how beautiful those leaves look at the sides. Yeah, so, gorgeous. so nice. And then pop that into this side. And then our last Christmas rose. And there we go. Into that piece there. So just over the top. Fab. And there we go. So we've got our beautiful little Christmas card there with our gorgeous roses and poinsettias.
Can I wow, it? absolutely fabo. If you want to uh, recreate that project of the winter foam flowers that you need, £20.77 or $25.86 is the platinum price for that collection. Shall we get the vote going very quickly, seeing as Shadaya has uh, nicely reminded us we need to get the vote going. Uh, so let's do that. We'll get Debbie to line up all of her makes and you get to vote for your demo of the show. And of course, it will go up against uh, Craig's demo from earlier on on Wake Up Call. And potentially... Uh, a demo or two that we've got coming up in uh, cartload uh, in just a little while, just over two hours time where the lucky dips will be back. Uh, and we've also got buy one, get one half price offers on our craft kits as well. Uh, and by the way, if you want a pound or a uh, dollar lucky dip, producer Johnny is telling me that you will need to be quick because potentially they could be gone before the show starts. But let us have a look at uh, all of the demos that Debbie has shown us during the show. Uh, number them up for us then, what we got? So number one, we've got that beautiful little floristry box. Number two, we've got the Just To Say card. Then we've got number three, which is our brooch. And number four, our Christmas card. Okay. Uh, one, two, three or four, I reckon you've got about three minutes to get your votes in. It'll have to be quick if you want to be grabbing those. Uh, you'll have to be quick as well if you uh, want to grab certain items on this show because things are flying out the door. The winter foam flowers now you are absolutely loving. Just another great collection, uh, particularly as we say with uh, December uh, very much in mind. Christmas makes very much in mind. Now is the time to jump in and get these because you are making a lovely saving. You're going to get the Christmas rose collection in there along with those uh, beautiful leaves. You've then got on top of that the Christmas flower, the point Setia. You've got your holly included as well, and then uh, the amazing pine cone um, included in there too. I've done it the wrong way around, but you, you, the pine cone and the leaves you get in there for £20.77 or $25.86 is the platinum price on that collection. Um, also worth considering is the, uh, the starter kit. Such a great collection. If you're one of those people who are watching today for the first time and you're thinking to yourself, I now want to give flower forming a go, this is definitely the deal that you want to go for. Um, it's normally over £56, over $83. It's £28 platinum price today or $36. And remember, if you are brand new to us, go to our website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu uh, and register for Club Inspire as well. It's free to do. It will take you a couple of minutes. You'll get 250 bonus points to get you started. And then you'll be able to pick up uh, your first purchase at the platinum price because you will give you 20% off. So you'll get all of this at that price. You've got the dies in there to be able to create your flowers. So the peony dies, there's three of those included. You've then got your ball tools as well. So three tools, six balls and the foam mat as well. And you've got your distressing tool and board. So everything that you need to be able to create really true to life, realistic flowers. We're then going to give you 14 sheets of your foam as well. So you've got seven sheets of the green, seven sheets of the floral bouquet. And you're going to get 400 of your stamens plus we're going to throw in your 3D uh, glue gel as well. All of that for £28 or $36. Um, it's the way to go if you want to get started. It really, really, truly is. Uh, and you will absolutely love this. Throw some more of that foam into your basket as well, uh, just to pad things out a bit. But what is coming up? Well, a lot still to come, as we've mentioned uh, tomorrow, of course, midday, uh, wake up call with myself and Craig, seven o'clock Eastern time, taking a bit of a sneaky peek ahead to what is coming up uh, with a big launch day on the way as well. Make sure you tune in for that. We always say it's a nice kind of a sneaky peek show where you can get in before everybody else, which is what happened earlier when we told you about cartload. Seven o'clock here in the UK, two o'clock Eastern. Loads of you have already been onto the show page, shopped the show uh, and destroyed the stock that we had of our lucky dips, particularly in the one pound one dollar category you've got one three and five pound five dollar uh, lucky dips for you You can dip up to three times uh, into each of those lucky dips without getting repetition but you'll be have to be quick on that um, because they are already flying out the door we've got buy one get one half price deals on the craft kit and uh, we've got best ever deals on some of the products for you as well have a look ahead before the show it is going to be biz biz busy right demo of the show I have a result. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Which one do you think it is? Um, probably the first one. No. Number one. Oh. Uh, number four. Yes. Ah, yes, that's pretty. 
<laughs> that one we will put up on our uh, Crafty Walk of Fame and it will go head to head uh, with Craig's card. Do you reckon we'll get um, a finished demo in cart load later on or will it be too chaotic? Uh, well, I have got demos planned, so right. um, it depends how busy it is and how quick and snappy we can make them. Uh, you're just going to buy it all, I know. Well, you're doing it already, to be honest with you. Um, let's just get a final word on the, um, the flower forming foam before we disappear. Um, Debbie, for anyone who's on the fence and they're thinking, oh, I don't know, shall I go for this? Uh, what would you say to them? If you love flowers and you like being creative, these are definitely the dyes for you because you can make so many different varieties of flowers. Uh, go for the stamens, go for all the extra tools that you need because honestly, you will find them the easiest flowers to put together. So once you get them home, just create loads of them. Keep them in a box. You've always then got flower embellishments for any project that you're creating. Yeah, and again, just to show you, I think it's important for you to see that you can make so many different projects with these. Of of course you're going to be making beautiful cards for all sorts of occasions you know you think about flowers uh, being uh, relevant to everything whether it be thank you cards whether it be congratulations whether it be birthday whether it be you know sympathy cards as well but not just cards as we've seen brilliant for making your own little bouquets as well i think these are absolutely super for making home decor pieces particularly as well you know we've been chatting about weddings for making those boutonniers those little brooches uh, for making those corsages for making uh, little headbands as well these are are more than just uh, you know flowers that you will use for um, making cards you know look at that with the uh, <laughs> sorry just reminding me of what you said about this earlier on <laughs> Uh, I can see it now, it's all I can see. But the point is, uh, these just are so super. As Debbie said, if you love flowers, then you absolutely need this kit. If you want to make realistic flowers, then you absolutely need this kit. And actually, if you want to pick up a bargain today um, on uh, our flower forming foam bundles, then you absolutely, absolutely need to jump in and grab this deal. If you're going for that spring collection, don't forget that is limited stock, could potentially sell out uh, in the next 15 minutes or so. So if you've got it in your basket, check it out. Big thank you to you for watching. Uh, big thank you to our Debbie as well. Brilliant as always. We will be back together uh, in just over two hours time for what is going to be a chaotic cartload. Uh, get ready. It will be fast. It will be furious. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Bye for now.